I want to go over a few things from my last video with the CSP traffic tool. We did have a few issues. I've had a few comments. I found the fixes. First, I'm going to show you how to save your traffic file after you've completed it. You're going to open the track data folder and inside the data folder, the two files, surfaces and traffic, those are the two files that you need to share your traffic lanes. I did get a few comments and people were saying that they were able to drive through the walls. To fix this, you need to open the surfaces file. Once you've opened the file, we're going to scroll down to the bottom and we're going to delete the script and physics that I told you to add from the first video. Now we're going to scroll all the way to the top to surface underscore zero. We're going to look for wave pitch. We're going to delete the zero and replace it with extended dash zero. I've also put these new script and physics in the description so you can just copy and paste it. Now where it says script and physics and allow tools, we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it at the bottom of surface underscore zero. Once you've done that, don't forget to save it. And that's going to fix that issue of being able to drive through the walls. That will no longer happen. Another issue that people have been having is not being able to enable free cam. You're going to go to your main set of Corsa folder. You're going to go system CFG and you're going to open a set of Corsa dot INI with notepad. Once you've got that open, look for allow free camera zero and you're going to change the zero to one. Once you've done that, make sure you save it. Another issue that people have been getting is a little message popping up sim crashed now i'm going to show you how to fix that but first i want to show you something i didn't on the other video now on the intersections you'll notice on the other video i had the lanes going right across the intersection you don't need to do that as you can see here so what i want to show you is if you go to trajectories if you select all the different lanes you can see all the routes that they can take and you'll see a little box that says allowed so you can untick it if you don't want it to take that route as for the issue of getting the message sim crashed i didn't actually know what was wrong at first until it actually happened to me and what I found was, after you've made an intersection and you've made your lanes, if you delete a lane from that intersection, it will cause a sim to crash. I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to delete this lane and you're going to see that message pop up. So there it is, sim crashed. To fix this issue, all you need to do is delete that intersection, then redo the intersection, and then you can also redo your lane. Now if you don't know which intersection is causing the problem, unfortunately you're going to have to delete every intersection until you find the right one. But it's likely to be the last intersection that you created. Well, we're coming to the end of the video. I hope this was helpful. If you come across any more issues, don't hesitate to comment. If I can find a fix, I will. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.